Hello everyone, it's Naivin, and today I am making CopperCube 6 tutorial video. CopperCube 6 is a game engine which is available for free. Link is in the description, you can download it and follow along. Today I will be talking about crosshairs and what crosshairs do in the game and why do we need them. Basically, to define crosshair, it's a pair of fine wires crossing at right angles at the focus of an optical instrument or gun sight for use in positioning, aiming or measuring. To be more precise and to simplify for gaming community, it's basically a mouse pointer. It's basically a pointer which is in the center of the game and you see this in many games first-person games, shooter games, and of course horror games and adventure games. It's just that dot in the middle. That's called crosshair. Now, how to make crosshairs? Well, basically everyone would think that we can make a 2D overlay. And I've talked about this. Uh, once again, I'm mentioning this at the start of every tutorial. We have five main windows. If we know Scene Graphics Explorer, Properties, Prefabs, Textures, and the main window. Now, if we go up and we look at Create, and we go down here and it says Create a 2D Overlay Item. If we click on that, as you can see, we get this box. And we can manipulate this box and create a crosshair. Or, once again, we can create a button with this or a text label. I talked about this in my tutorial about buttons. But for right now, I need a crosshair, which means that I need this to be pointing right in the center. Now, some people might say, well, you can just scale this object like this, right? Like that. Oop, like that and then you can uh, put a random uh, picture, for example, a dot or anything like that, and it will work. Well, let me tell you this, it won't. Why? Because CopyCube 6 has a very specific uh, lineup for the resolution. If you go to Publish, and I'll be making a separate video about this, and if you go to Publishing Settings, we can see here that if you publish with Windows.exe, uh, you have a window mode of uh, dynamic and resizable, which means that on every uh, PC or laptop, the screen will be different, which means that this dot might be in the center right now, if we make it like this, but if we publish it, for example, like this, as you can see, it might look like it's in the center, but truth is, it's not. So how to make this work? I'll be talking about this. It is actually done not by me, it's a special script, which was done by Vazahat from uh, glitched velocity and I will be giving link to his YouTube channel just in case if I stop making copper cube tutorials or if you feel like I'm not making enough copper cube tutorials please please visit his channel he has amazing channel also we have discord which I linked uh, in my uh, copper cube tutorials you can visit our discord and he is a great person and he can help you with anything but right now let's go on with our uh, tutorial and now let's bring out our main scene right now basically I am creating a scene let's put on some terrain without uh, grass just like that then we delete cube we put camera first person of course because uh, first person um, camera works with crosshairs like that and then if we click on publish you can see we kind of have this thing in the middle but it kind of doesn't work it, it doesn't really now Let's start with coding. So we have to go to new 3D scene and now we have to work on behaviors. So every new scene has a behavior of three different things. We have scripted behaviors, we have behaviors triggered by events, which is in every few seconds do something or when keys press do something and we have before first drawing do something. Now we have to click on that 
and then always check also on reload which means that every time you reload the game all those settings will be here then we go to action not set and we go to plus sign and then we go down right here to special and we go to execute javascript now i put in javascript and now i'll be opening it and we can review the javascript so basically we have function on frame drawing we have uh, overlay a uh, get c note from name now this is very important because as a default it says cross hair but you can change it to any uh, default which you want the overlay to be named for example let's change this to point uh, then we have all the uh, height with uh, the X and Y uh, position and we click on OK. Now, if we click on OK here, we need this to the overlay to be named point like this. And now, as you can see, I will move this part away and I will start the game and the overlay crosshair will automatically snap into the middle let's see if it works and it does and as you can see now we have a crosshair which is snapped in the middle it won't go away and it will always stay in the middle during the games and of course you can clone this behavior uh, I haven't talked about cloning yet, but I will go over that. Uh, this is basics, which you need to know. And this is our script, basically. And this is how it works. Now, I have to mention one other thing, is where to get crosshairs. Because, as you can see, uh, this gray uh, kind of box isn't that nice looking. Now, what we do is we go and search for crosshairs. I will be giving link to this. Uh, it's done by Void One Gaming. Uh, it's on Ichio. It's a mega crosshairs pack, and you have everything in here, which is all free. You can download any type of crosshair you want. Uh, you can have it like uh, uh, something, for example, which is you know just uh, uh, pointing like a gun. You can have something which is you know just like uh, you know in Call of Duty games. You can have an axe. Uh, you can have you know just a circle with a dot you can have just the dots and many other things if you go down here you can click on download click on cross chair pack and it will download those cross uh, cross airs uh, I have extracted uh, my uh, crosshair which I want to apply now as you know uh, you have a background color of the box you have alpha uh, the lower the alpha gets the more transparent it is so we have to click zero uh, let me double click zero okay so as you can see it disappeared now if we go here we have draw text which draws and you uh, text and you can write text or image in this case we go and we put our image on this thing right here and keep an aspect ratio I we don't need that and basically if draw background yes and if we click on play and as you can see we have uh, this type of uh, pointer now this doesn't look that great of course but you can modify it uh, basically you can use those uh, crosshairs and do whatever you want and change uh, the look of it that's it for today's tutorial. Everything will be uh, down in the description, all the links to Avazahat's uh, channel, uh, to the Void Gaming's uh, link for Crosshairs to download. Now, once again, I'll be saying um, that everything depends on your personal preference. Some people don't like when there is a pointer in the game which kind of loses its uh, immersion. And of course it depends if you have uh, your game to deal with things uh, that are clickable and you need a player to see the mouse, the pointer, the crosshair. 
then uh, you should definitely use this uh, mechanic and this behavior which helps a lot which is very simple and it actually saves even more time than creating some you know more advanced kind of pointing uh, uh, and uh, things like that uh, thanks everyone for watching once again if you have any questions please link uh, leave your uh, comments questions in the comment section and uh, have a wonderful day